Welcome back to our final segment of Ferris Sports Update. Time to check in with the Ferris State women's tennis team. And we're joined by Isabella Paishaw, a sophomore here on the Ferris State tennis team. And welcome to the show. Thank you. This past weekend, uh, the Bulldogs obviously in action at the GLIAC tournament. Uh, maybe talk about that event. Obviously, uh, you got off to a slow start on yeah. Friday, but came back and uh, two exciting wins to, to round out the tournament. Yeah, I think we went into um, this tournament with kind of a, I don't know, I think teams were really out to beat us after we had a, a pretty good season, definitely a lot better than last year, considering our team's pretty young. So, you know, I think we had a bit of a target on our back, but overall, I mean, obviously Friday we came off to a little bit of a slow start, but um, Northwood really played well. But I think overall we had a pretty good weekend, and yeah, the team did really great. You mentioned that target on your back. So what was it like being a player and obviously having some success uh, here in the GLIAC uh, here during the regular season? Yeah, obviously it was a really great season. Um, you could tell there was a little bit of pressure going into this weekend, but I think we handled it pretty well. Um, obviously, like none of us could do it without the support of our teammates, so that's a huge help for sure. You mentioned uh, the opener against Northwood on Friday night, and uh, obviously a team that you had beat earlier in the year, an exciting win, uh, yeah. snapping a 22-match streak against Northwood. Uh, maybe what did they do differently uh, in Friday's opener to, to come back and get the win? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think they really came in with a bunch of confidence. They really had nothing to lose considering we beat them um, during season, and they just really came to play. And um, obviously we started off a little bit slow, and that's kind of how it was during season. So I think the clinch role played a little bit of a part into that, but... I mean, they played really well, so they deserved it. Came back on Saturday, though, a quick turnaround time after a Friday night match to a Saturday afternoon match, and uh, you took on Purdue Northwest, a team you had beat earlier in the year. Mm -hmm. And So we go to the highlights of that. Uh, certainly came back. Uh, you played well, got off to a great start in doubles play. Yeah, for sure. Um, I don't know, same thing. I think after Friday we had to regroup a little bit. Um, but, we, I mean, we knew it was going to be a struggle. All of the teams in the conference definitely are great fighters. Um, so it wasn't going to be easy, but I think we all really buckled down and just were able to get it done. How much confidence does that give you maybe uh, going into a match against a team that, that you've already beat earlier in the year? And uh, how much confidence does that does that help you going in? Definitely a lot. I mean, you kind of have the past that gives you a little bit more confidence, but you can't, you know, solely rely on that and just know that they're still going to come and bring it and you can't really let up. So. What's it, what's it like playing in the GLIAC tournament, having uh, all those eight teams there uh, in one site and, and playing uh, for, for obviously a conference championship? Yeah, the energy is really great, and I know it's a tournament that we all really love playing, and obviously it's pretty competitive between all of the teams, but um, I don't know, it's, it's crazy. I don't know, the atmosphere is pretty great, and I know it's something that we all really love to do, and it's a great way to finish off the season. Obviously, uh, here in tennis, uh, you, the doubles round, uh, you play those three matches, it counts as a single point, so you got the lead mm -hmm. going into into the singles action and then yeah. uh, you're able to win three of the first four uh, some of the matches maybe in progress that uh, weren't finished as you would already decided the match mm -hmm. yeah getting the doubles point is a huge huge help going into singles and a little bit of a confidence boost um, but uh, yeah it really it really means a lot to get the doubles point and we've had a really great double season and we've been working a lot and I think it's really shown or won the final uh, in, in match number two of the tournament over Purdue Northwest, and then mm -hmm. you had to come back uh, quickly on Sunday morning against Saginaw Valley, and uh, yeah. another team you would beat, playing mm -hmm. uh, for fifth place, and certainly got another exciting win. Yeah, Saginaw is just one of those teams. They they fight to the very end. You know, um, there's two of our matches. Both I and Sylvia were you know a couple points from winning, so it was a little tough to call it. But um, Johanna was cramping and ended up clinching for us. So. That was also a really big day for the two of our seniors that it was their last match. So it was definitely really special to come out with a win on that day. How important was it maybe to, to bounce back and win those final two matches after a tough start in the conference tournament and, and knowing uh, you were able to get two wins uh, your last time out this fall? Yeah, it was huge. It was huge for the seniors and for the rest of our team just to you know, really show that we are capable of being one of the better teams in the conference. So it definitely gives us a good confidence boost going into off season as well as next season. The All-Conference Awards announced this past weekend as well. You were named All-GLIAC First Team. Congratulations. Yeah, thank maybe, you. Maybe talk about what that means uh, to you personally. Um, yeah, I mean, last year going from playing three and four singles to playing one was a little bit of an adjustment. But, you know, it's a challenge, and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, the players that I played were all pretty amazing, and I had a pretty big win over Lake Superior State, which I think kind of solidified um, the award that I got this weekend. But, I don't know, I was pretty excited, and, yeah, I'm really glad I was picked for it. Maybe talk about how the teams uh, adjusted. Obviously, Mark Doran, uh, head coach, uh, mm -hmm. came in last year on an interim right. basis and is taking over full time uh, here this year. Maybe maybe talk about that relationship and, and what he's done to help you uh, guys uh, here on the tennis court. Yeah, no, Mark's great, um, especially for the freshmen being recruited by a different coach and then having the switch so early in the season last year was definitely a struggle and not something that we were really expecting. But 
you know, he came in and you can tell that he really, really wants to be there and he cares a lot and he's done a lot for the team so far and we all love him and he's been a really great coach, so we're really glad to have him. Obviously, tennis is a sport that extends over the, the entire school year right. as uh, you go into the, the winter months here now. What does it take to get, to get ready, I guess, for the spring season, which starts in February? Yeah, we just go through thinking about how we did the season and then just kind of, you know, regroup, go over what we need to work on and really focus on some, um, some of the things that we've been struggling on and then just really focus and, you know, just, just prepare for, net, for um, the upcoming season and then spring break matches that we'll play a lot of good teams. So it's just a lot of, you know, mental focus and preparation for that. Obviously, you play a lot of matches inside. You play some outside. Mm -hmm. uh, w what are the differences maybe uh, in tennis and in, in going from the indoor courts to the outdoor courts? It's definitely an adjustment. Um, obviously, the weather here. So we're used to playing inside. Um, but, you know, last spring break, we still did pretty well playing outside, considering we pretty much play all, like all of our matches inside. Um, but, you know, it is a struggle, but I think we adjust pretty well. Maybe talk about uh, your, your academic program here at Ferris State, what, what, what you hope to do uh, when you're all done uh, here with college tennis. Yeah, so I'm a biology major right now and a Spanish minor, and I'm hoping to go to grad school and be a physician assistant. So. Well, cool. Uh, how, how challenging is that maybe as a student athlete, uh, not only uh, putting that time in in the classroom, but also uh, having to obviously go to practice every day and, and work out and do those things as well? Yeah, it, it's definitely pretty hard and time consuming, but I think um, in the long run, it's really going to pay off with trying to juggle everything. I mean, it gives you a lot of time management and discipline on how to do it, so it is challenging, but I think it's very rewarding as well. As you look back on the fall, maybe uh, one moment that, that stands out uh, in, in terms of the tennis uh, for you? Um, I Definitely Northwood. Um, we haven't beaten them since 2004, I want to say. Um, so, I mean, it was a huge, huge win for us, and Johanna clinching, it was, it was amazing. Um, there were, it was a definitely, I don't know, it was crazy. There were a lot of emotions, and I couldn't be more proud of the team, and I know we were really, really proud of each other, and that without the support and everything on the sidelines, it probably could have been a very different outcome. Well, Isabella, thanks for being with us, yeah. and uh, congratulations on a great fall. Thank you. That'll do it for Ferris Sports Update. A reminder, you can follow all the action and get all the results online. FerrisStateBulldogs.com. Have a great week.